And so unfortunately, if you don't have the gems, if you don't have the 120 to 150 gems minimum, you will not be able to get Black Feather. Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Look at that wallpaper. That is awesome. That is Black Feather using his flying spirit skill to give your anticipation monsters an attack. So the Black Feather Tales Challenge has finally started. So let's start with that and we'll also talk about Bomb Beta. So when you click on the Tales Challenge, as I've been warning everyone, you are not going to get the token right away. That Tales key right away, I mean. So see, I, it's a good thing I, I made like two or three warning videos like, hey guys, don't rely on the chest, don't rely on the chest. I was pretty sure you would have to make it past the first the first three nodes and I was right. So the way this works is you need 25 compasses to even enter the event. So you click 25 times, let me see if I can click and hold. Nope, you gotta click 25 times and by clicking 25 times, by applying those compasses, you get the avatar and that unlocks the event itself. So let me just claim my cool little avatar and now I am on node number one. So the way the progressive event works, and yes, you can get this monster for 149, for 147 gems, 150 let's say, or as low as 122, but with a lower buffing period, and I'll talk about that. So the fight is pretty simple. You can do this every single two hours. So let me just do a quick little fight and save Rossi, and you can win that easily. The thing that matters the most is the collecting food and feeding your monster. So collecting food is simple. You literally just collect all. You go to a monster, any monster you want that isn't fully leveled up and you level the monster up a few levels so here's my pterodactyl he's leveled up you notice you never get anything it's because the initial the initial action is like it starts up the the items and then, so when you go back that's when you actually click and collect and that's when you actually get your item so i still didn't get gold and maybe i did with the collect off but as soon as i click feed i'll get my plus four so the important thing to remember here let me collect again Okay, I probably do have them all. So if I go back to the Tills Challenge, the important thing to know here is that you can get six gold items every eight hours and and four feed your monster items every four hours. So you play in rotations of eight hours, but you could also just do math and you would figure out how, how much it takes for a single item to respawn. If you're getting four, mon four chicken legs every single eight hours, that means every one hour you get a chicken leg. So if I come back in two hours and, and feed a monster, I'm going to get one more chicken leg and if I come back in four hours I would get two more so it's just the math for the collect gold it, that boils down to one hour 20 minutes so with that being said um, the cost is down right the hatch egg let's see if I can do that this is where it's gonna get a little complicated because or you might be thinking because aside from this we also have the bomb beta breeding event so we'll come back to this you might be thinking oh I don't want to clog up my hatchery to be honest the the breeding and the hatching it really doesn't lower the cost too much i think it's fine i think you can try to breed bomb beta and then wor don't worry so much about clogging up your hatchery because the the difference is not big if i have a screenshot i think i have a screenshot somewhere where i didn't do the breeding at all or very few times the difference in the gem cost is not a lot but now let's talk about the part that everyone wants to know how do you get this monster for a few gems when do you skip when is the optimal time all right, well, I got to give a shout out to Monster Legends Guide Discord. Again, I'm telling you guys to join. There's going to be a link in the description. It has all the valuable information. So we're going to start with this right here because it has a bigger buffer period. As you can see, the total time is 3 days, 16 hours. The event itself right now, when I look at my screen, it says 3 days, 21 hours. So there's a huge buffing period, right? Like 4 or 5 hours. So what this tells you is when you're on the 20 cells, you're going to use 32 gems to, to gem at 0 days and 16 hours. Now, this is basically... 16 hours from when you started the event so i am starting the event right now i'm going to come back in eight hours and do a collection i'm going to come back in another eight hours and do a collection there we go that has been 16 hours from the time i started that's the important thing to know from the time you started the event 16 hours so if you if i'm telling you that every single time you do a collection you can get six collect gold items and i log in again and i log in again i log in a total of three times hey take a look at that three times six that's 18. what about the collect food well, collect food, I get four, and I'm logging in three times. I logged in once, and in eight hours, and in another eight hours, hey, twelve time, or four times three is twelve. So see, that's how you read that. So 16 hours from the time I've played, I should have a total of 18 collect gold items and 12 feed your monster items. But again, I have to come in an eight hours interval. Can you come in sooner? If you want to do four hours, um, the, the thing about that, you might miss out on coins because the... Actually, four hours would work because the the gold re, um, respawns in one hour and 20 minute intervals. So one hour and 20 minute plus one hour and 20 minute plus one hour and 20 minute, that is also four hours. So if you want to do four hour logins, you could, but I think it's just easier to set a timer for eight hours and you're good to go. So that's basically it.
on the 30 cells, you should be spending around 45 gems. That's going to be after one day and eight hours, which is a total of, let's see, three, four, five collections. By the way, the minute, the second you move on to the next node, that's one collection. All right, that's that zero waiting time collection. You can do a full collection. So then after that, you'll do four more. That's why I said in total, it's five collections. On the 50 cells, you're going to use around 70 gems. That'll be in a total of like one day and 16 hours. And more or less, you can see how much everything is going to cost. The tails key is free. The chest is free. And in total, that costs you 147 gems. So again, I was warning everyone, just have 150 gems saved up because I've played this events before. I know how it is. That's approximately how many you're going to need. And I told you guys have like up to 200 because, you know, sometimes you miss a collection. Sometimes something goes wrong. We're having this Bombay event. So, oh, it's a little tricky, right? Like, ah, what do I do? So I wanted to show this picture, but we also have another picture and look at the gem cost of this. This is 122 gems. The reason it costs even less is because look at the total time, three days, 21 hours and 20, 20 and 20 minutes. It is to a T. So as you can see, there is a less buffing period than the other one. We had three days, 16 hour. So I would say just reference the three day, 16 hour one. If you happen to spend less than 150 gems, that is awesome. But I think realistically, you will be spending around 150 gems to 200 gems, just depending on your logins, especially if you do clog up the breeding. And another thing here is proof that this is possible. Here is me playing the game from the Raw Tales event. Check it out. Look at the timer. There's three days, five hours left. If you look at the timer on my game right now, as I mentioned, this is three days, 21. So subtract 16 hours and look, it costs 32 gems. And notice that the hatch eggs is not four out of four. It is three out of four. And that didn't reduce the price by anything. So that's the first picture. The next picture I have is from the 30 cells and check this out. Collect gold is 30, 30 times six. That's five logins. Feed your monsters, four times five, that's five logins. And breed your monsters, that was four out of six. So I paid a little, like one extra gem, that's totally fine. And then for the final one, I paid 71 gems. And look at the, the timer, there's four hours left. So see, um, six times six, that's 36 logins. Six times four, that's 24 logins, or sorry. Um, six logins times six coins, that's 36. Um, six logins times four chicken legs, that's 24. Hatch eggs, I didn't really do. And yeah, I, I essentially ended up spending around that 150. So it's totally doable. You can totally do it. Please, please, please make sure to get this monster. I mean, Black Feather is awesome, but aside from that, it's just useful to get every single cosmic that's in the game. All right, so hopefully that is that explains Black Feather enough. If you still have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And so to answer the question, because I get this all the time, every time I do a Progressive Tales video, if you don't have the gems, unfortunately, you will not be able to make it to get those 50 cells and to get the node, which means you also won't be able to get that tails key, which means you will not be able to use all of your extra compasses in this chest right here to be able to get more black feather. OK, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. So that's why I really made a lot of videos warning everyone. Hey, don't think that it's going to be that easy that you can just get the chest right away because you have extra compasses. I had a good feeling it was going to be, nope, you need to legitimately get the monster first and then you can get extra. It's kind of like the team race, right? You get a marathon key and then you only get the marathon key if you do a minimum of 10 laps. So I'm glad I called that right, but I hope you guys were paying attention and listening so that you guys can hopefully get it. So unfortunately, if you do not have the gems, the 100, 122 really, but you have to be super on it. So if you don't have the 122 to 150 gems, I apologize, you will not be able to get Black Feather. With that being said, let's move on to some positive news. Bomb Beta. Okay, how do you beat this monster? Well, you combine the previous Legends Pass monsters, the free-to-play ones, Mr. Beast and Moon Haze, and you have a chance to get the monster. You could, however, substitute Golden Legend Pass monsters Tremor for Mr. Beast or on Dana for Moon Haze, and you can get the monster. So here's the thing. This is how this works. Let's scroll down. You can essentially get four monsters. Yentic, ROFL, and Monster Device. And of course, you have um, Bombeta. So there are four monsters, three legendaries, one mythic. The thing is, I don't think it's a 25% chance to get each individual monster. I really think it's more like maybe the legendaries have a higher percentage. Maybe we can say like 30, 30, 30%, and then 10% for the for the mythic. I think that would make more sense. But who cares about percentages? Definitely worth trying. This is a monster worth having. Um, and I mentioned this was probably going to be a frat event. So the way frat event works is if there's anyone on your team that purchases like the 50 gem pack, basically your whole team gets the monster for free. It's kind of crazy, I think. It's it's kind of too good, right? If you have people doing like little purchases, maybe someone does one of these or two large gem packs, then the whole team gets it as well. So there's two ways to get the monster. Essentially, you try to breed it or if someone in your team is a spender, you could 
you know, you would just get it um, essentially from there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to breed it. So what I would recommend is activate your Camella. All right. Um, these are from the previous breedings. I was trying. Look, I can get more compasses. Yay. Um, but let's go to do Mr. Beast. Wait, let me make sure I do the right combination. I do not want to mess up. So Bomb Beta Breeding Events, Tremor and Moon Haze. So breed. Let's go to Tremor. Tremor. You can always click on the heart icon on the right hand of the breeding. So we have Tremor. Where is he? Oh my gosh, is Tremor a baby? I don't know if I love the. He's probably a low, low level. Okay, I was feeding him yesterday. Tremor and Moon Haze. Wait, see, I don't want to mess up again. Um, Frat Breeding. Nope. Um, breeding event. Oh yeah, Tremor and Moon Haze. Tremor and Moon Haze. So breed. Hearts. Tremor, Tremor, Tremor. Yeah, this is guaranteed a monster you want to get to level. There's Moon Haze. There's Tremor. And the monster you got to get to rank to rank three to make him viable. All right, see, it's always a guaranteed legendary, and you could speed up by watching a video. I highly recommend you do, you do that. Um, please tell me there's monsters I can hatch. Yes, Kodama. All right, Kodama, let's put you in the monster vault. All right, and what we're going to do is, I normally, I would say, hey, guys, wait the 11 minutes, save an extra gem if you do want to speed up, watch the video. But for the purpose of this video, now you know what? We are going to watch this video on the side. I won't make you guys watch it, but we'll be back. And take a look at that. I was actually able to drop it to a seven gem cost. And realistically, I should be waiting the nine minutes, but I want to get this video out there. So let me go ahead and see what I get. And I got an ROFL, or sorry, a monster device, which I could also speed up by watching videos. So we basically repeat again. It's always going to be a legendary. It's always going to be nine hours, 11 minutes. So it's always going to be legendary or mythic. Who knows? Let's try again this time with Andana. And let's see if I even have Mr. Beast. I don't know if I ever hatched him. You know, oh, I do. Thank goodness. All right, cool. So it's going to be nine hours, 11 minutes. So again, I don't know what I'm going to get. It could be Bombeta. Maybe it's not. But again, if any of your teammate purchases gems, you will also have the monster guaranteed. It's just a matter of getting them to rank three. So is this a monster using Stardust on? Potentially just to get them to rank three to get that status caster Megaton at the start of the battle. Because check this out. At rank three, this monster has an HP of 142k. Whereas Daedalus at rank 3 has 93k and even fully ranked out has 142k. So rank 5 Daedalus stats are equal to that of Bomb Beta rank 3 stats. But of course there's that level disparity, a level 150 Mythic is going to be doing some serious damage to 130. But just in terms of that life set alone, that's kind of crazy to me. So with that being said guys, I hope this video was helpful. Now you know the combinations to get Bomb Beta. And more importantly, you know how to get Black Feather and optimize your gem cost and know when to skip. So if this video was helpful, make sure to drop a like. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the comments below. Hopefully myself or someone from the community can answer your question. And then you can get yourself the brand new Cosmic Monsters. Thank you very much and remember to subscribe.